Hi, I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Welcome to my weekly Monday Makes video on my blog and YouTube channel. The card designs I share today are simple, fun, and easy to recreate. I also sell the products I feature in this video. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and would love to see you shop with me. Happy Easter Monday, everybody. For today's card, I am featuring the Dragonfly Garden stamp set. You can buy this in a bundle with the punch, but today I'm just gonna use the stamp. So I have Memento Tuxedo Black here, and I am stamping on basic white cardstock. And I have crumb cake in the background there. And the designer series paper that goes with the Dandy Garden, I think it's called Dandy Garden, six by six designer series paper. It's retiring soon. So I wanted to use the little bits up. So I have Misty Moonlight here and I have my uh, blends brushes, this uh, blending brush, and I seasoned the brush on a piece of paper first, dipped it into the ink, then seasoned it a little bit on the paper to see where the ink was on the brush, and then exceptionally lightly brushed this on. I just want the faintest ever background, blue background, and it's beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going in with the green colors. I think this is garden green of the watercolor pencils. If you don't have the watercolor pencils yet, I do advise to pick them up there, or you could use your pencil crayons, whatever you like. I actually like the watercolor pencils because I'm able to use them as, uh, like pencil crayons or uh, a coloring medium, and then I can use them as paint as well. So I think that they have a really good value for their price point. So I'm, I think I'm just using garden green here and I'm just going in with and coloring with all the leaves, just coloring, not, nothing special, no shading, no nothing. Then I'm coming in with Melon Mambo and I am coloring the petals. I did want a little bit of a brighter color and I thought Melon Mambo was going to give it to me, but it didn't. I had to go in and darken it just a touch with another pink color in the watercolor pencils. And I'm choosing to use watercolor pencils today on Monday because they are affordable and there's great value for the pack and you don't have to, you buy the whole pack and you get many different colors. So you can, um, you know, it, it, the price point is less. When I'm using my blends markers, that's a little bit more kind of a Wednesday card, I guess, because you do have to have a few more in your arsenal. Here I come in with Flirty Flamingo, thinking that that's going to give me a little bit of a brighter color, not so much. And it only started really rendering true for me when I brought in, I think it was Rich Razzleberry. Uh, Yes, rich razzleberry. And I was able to sort of, you know, get a little bit more depth in the coloring that I had wanted. And I did use a yellow for the um, echinacea bits, the middle part, and for that flower down on the bottom right. Then I activated the watercolor pencil with the liquid from a wink of Stella brush. I know you're thinking, what? <laughs> it works and it looks lovely. I loved it. It deepened, did everything that I wanted it to. So I did want to, of course, remember to do the sentiment because sometimes I forget. So it says for a true friend and that's just with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Now I, just because I think the Wink of Stella is a little bit wet there, I am going to use my uh, Stampin' Seal Plus and I'm just putting it on half of the uh, designer series paper. And then I'm just trying to be accurate here. I wanted only an inch showing. So I cut my paper an inch short and or my basic white paper an inch short so that I could get a feeling of a full card front. Now I'm taking some linen thread. I know that uh, a lot of these are back ordered. Linen thread is, 
getting back ordered. I think that the uh, blending brushes are back ordered. So I apologize for showing you something that you can't buy right away. It drives me crazy when I see somebody do something and I'm like, oh, I could, I need that. And then all of a sudden it's, you can't get it anymore. It makes it irks me. That's a good word. Irk. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm adjusting the twine here and you can use any twine, not just linen thread. I'm sure that there's, you have Baker's twine that is a multitude of colors in your craft room. So if you wanted to try to substitute or design with this card, go right ahead. You have my permission, no need to ask. And I am uh, securing the uh, thread in the back of this card and then I actually just snipped it off because it was bulky and then I put a lot of Stampin' Dimensionals on it and I'm putting this card front right on the card base and that pretty much is my Monday card it's very very simple and yeah I hope you have a lovely Sunday or sorry Monday and I will see you on Wednesday bye for now Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the Maple Leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.